Hey guys, uh, George here, the head instructor at Firehouse Music, and today I wanted to talk about a concept that I think is misunderstood, and that is the use of chromatic notes with the pentatonic scale, chromaticism. Um, I think it's misunderstood because people think that you need to have a lot of uh, uh, music theory knowledge or knowledge of chord construction, and well, there's some truth to that. Um, you don't have to wait until you have all that information before you start uh, utilizing chromatic uh, notes effectively. And today I'm going to show you a concept that hopefully will make that easier for you. So I'm going to go ahead and switch cameras so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, let's see here. Boom. All right. So in the last video, we talked about the pentatonic shapes. So we had that sort of thing. Um, and uh, if you didn't see it, go ahead and go watch it and get those, get a refresher on those uh, pentatonic scales. That's kind of a prerequisite for this video. Uh, the concept we're going to talk about is chromatic approach to the top note of the scale, of, of, of the note in the scale um, on every string. So it, the, the simplest thing I can put it, the simplest way I can put it is when you have the finger in 1 4, you're going to add the ring finger in between. So that now that one four is gonna become one three four. Your one three fingering is gonna be it's gonna turn into one two three, and your uh, two four fingering, which uh, it happens in some other shapes like the second shape, is gonna turn into uh, two three four. Uh, and that's really it. It's that simple. That's the concept. Um, it will be a very short video if I say, okay, now I'll go experiment with that. So I'm going to kind of demonstrate what I mean uh, by that. But really, that's all you have to know. If you have the fingerings together and, and you know which finger to put in between, then you're ready to play that modified blue scale that I'm talking about uh, by adding those achromatic uh, notes. And I realize there are other ways to approach the blue scale. Um, you can memorize fingerings, but the beauty of this concept is that you don't have to memorize anything new. What you know you should know the pentatonics by now. So what you know um, is all you need. And we're just adding this little concept, and now you have two scales under your fingers. So I, I, I like uh, not having to work very hard uh, on uh, on this sort of stuff, so I have more time to practice other things. So uh, so I think it's great. Um, so if we were to do this on the uh, first fingering of pentatonic. Um, that fingering is going to become 1, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 4, 1, 3, 4, 1, 3, 4. For those of you that caught it, the third string, 1, 3. I played 1, 3, 4 instead of 1, 2, 3. If you play 1, 2, 3 here, it's not wrong. Playing the major third, as a matter of fact, that's very blues-like. Done all the time. You can play that major third there. It works great against the, the one chord all the time. But uh, there's also a pretty cool uh, symmetrical, a symmetrical possibility here when you have that when you have that flat five there, because then you can mess with that. Now that doesn't mean that this is wrong. Use both. Or use all of it. Uh, you can mess with that all, all day, and you can make you know create licks that or whatever you know you just you you use your imagination. And you can make anything uh, work there. So that's the only exception of that of that rule um, of the you know adding the the finger in the middle here. We're actually choosing to add that pinky in there. Uh, which is why I started with this with this particular fingering, um, but then the rule will apply uniformly uh, through the rest of the pattern. So if we go to the second fingering, and so now that one is going to become uh, two, three, four, one, three, four, one, three, four, one, two, three, two, three, four, two, three, four. The third fingering, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Stretch down. One, two, three. Come back. One, three, four. One, two, three. The fourth fingering. 
And finally, the fifth finger in 2-3-4-2-3-4-1-3-4-1-3-4-2-3-4-2-3-4-2-3-4. And uh, um, that's, uh, that's really it. The, uh, the concept is great because it, it, sh it lets you um, create these uh, um, type of runs. They don't quite fit into uh, any particular key and, uh, and they have a neat sound to them. So uh, apply that to your playing. Of course, there are other applications. There are things that do involve some of that uh, music theory as to like, okay, well, what note do I stop on if I'm playing um, um, over a particular chord progression? And uh, that has a little bit more to do with the note choice and, and things like that. And that, that falls outside of the scope of this specific video. And maybe I'll do a video on that later. But uh, um, yeah, so just take this. Uh, run with it, practice it a lot, get it under your fingers, and uh, I hope it helps you. So, yeah, we'll start here.